Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing yet another movie review for you all. This movie is a drama from Romania, Romanian language English subs, released in the year 2013, directed by Chalan Pedanetsu, and this film is called Child's Pose. So Child's Pose is about an elderly woman. She's living in Bucharest, Romania. She's very rich and powerful. She's got a lot of influence. But then the thing that she wants more than anything is to fix her relationship with her adult son. Now it's not clear as to why, but the adult son is ignoring her at every given opportunity, but she really wants to make this work. But unfortunately one evening the son is going to need the help of his mother because he's up on manslaughter charges. He was speeding one evening and he ran over a boy crossing the road. So he's going to face jail unless the mother can use her influence to get him off the charges. But in order to do that, she's going to have to fix the broken relationships around her. So whether or not she can, something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Child's Pose. Although I really appreciated this movie, it's definitely a film that I'd have a lot of difficulty uh, recommending to the majority of my audience. Now if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I specialise in horror films and the more th uh, thrilling cinematic experiences and not so much dramas. But every now and then there is a drama that comes along that entices me to see it. And it's done in a way that's very interesting and it's usually Eastern European, scathing attacks on the worlds that they live in. And these worlds are very foreign to me, but these worlds have a lot of accessibility. And so you can go into the film and learn a lot about the world that you really don't hear too much about. And so Romania especially is an expert at actually giving you those scathing criticisms of stuff that really makes you think and so whether you think of four months three weeks two days which is a scathing attack of life under a dictatorship or the death of Mr. Lazarescu which is a scathing attack on the Romanian health system these are systems that are, as I said foreign to me but they're done in a way that you can access that world and actually understand a thing or two about things that you might not necessarily have known about and so Child's Pose is definitely one of those films it's a scathing attack uh, on class differences but what I liked about Child's Pose as opposed to the other films, the other films are a little bit more difficult to access, but this movie is a universal problem. This is a scathing critique of the class differences, where the rich can get away with a lot, and that money and influence can actually uh, you know, allow you not to take any responsibility, and that lack of responsibility has a devastating effect on the poorer communities. So, whether it's Australia, the USA, or Romania, the rich get away with a lot more than the poor, so it's a very unfair sort of class difference, and it's a class difference that's very relevant in this film. It does play centre stage, and it does does give you a lot of emotions. This film is an emotional roller coaster. You'll be feeling sympathetic qualities. You'll be feeling a lot of hatred, uh, a lot of infuriating qualities, and something that is deliberate. It's something that makes you feel as though you're experiencing a film instead of just watching a movie. And so, Child's Pose is definitely one of those movies, but you really have to pay attention to the fine details that add up to something so much bigger. So if you're not willing to do that and you need special effects to maintain your attention, Child's Pose is not for you. But what, as I said, what I really liked about this film was the ability to create a lot of emotions within me, whether I was feeling sympathetic qualities for the lower class or being infuriated by the behaviour of the upper class, it's something that made me think. And it's something that provoked an experience as opposed to just something of a lazy watch. So you have characters that are you know, not accepting responsibility, feeling as so money can buy anything, but unfortunately, even in the upper class, money can only take you so far. And this is where the really interesting aspect of the upper class world came into it, because there were vulnerabilities that started to show. There were cracks in the facade of everything is perfect that we're going through that actually gave you relatable qualities. This is a world that I'm not familiar with, the upper class world, but the people were human beings. And so they're hiding behind this facade, but then unfortunately, because of the broken relationships in this upper class family, I could see the vulnerabilities coming through. And because they were dealing with their problems on a humane level they were starting to crumble and so money as I said can only take you to a certain point where uh, you know, before you actually have to start addressing the real issues and these real issues were actually tearing this upper class apart then you have the lower class that had everything about family everything about human connection and when their young son was killed they're trying their best to cope with it but unfortunately because of the lack of responsibility from the upper class it's very hard to do it so it's a domino effect of just pure tragedy that Charles Poe has possessed and I thought it was done in a very subdued way. I thought the cinematography was very reminiscent of the Dogma movement, the early 90s from Lars von Trier, where it was all about the lack of special effects to give you that fly-on-the-wall feel. This is a very personal, sort of realistic feeling that you have. You feel as though you're in that room without being seen, and you're experiencing just the day in the life of a horrible situation that's spiraling out of control. I thought the script was absolutely phenomenal. The characters were larger than life. They needed to be larger than life because the emphasis is on the character study, and 
how people cope under extreme situations. I thought Ludmilla Georgiou's performance as the mother was phenomenal. She was a legendary Romanian actress and she showcases why she's so good because the movie doesn't need theatrics. The movie's just done it in a matter-of-fact way and that matter-of-fact way really makes you feel really makes you think about life in general and so how you know, different you know, rich people are to you know, the lower class but unfortunately as I said there comes that time where even the upper class have to face who they are as people and that's something that we all have to get in charge with and so the money and influence can only take you so far and in fact it can be a curse and so that's exactly what Charles Pose uh, really suggests is that this is a curse and the injustices of the world are down to the fact that the rich have so much influence and so if I have an issue with this movie I will say that it's not as I said your standard uh, cinematic experience so if you have a low attention span it's definitely not for you if you have uh, you know, if you like films that are scary that have twists and turns around every corner this is a movie that I would not recommend it is very very plain and matter of fact but if you like films such as The Death of Mr. Lazarescu, Four Months, Three Weeks and Two Days, I highly recommend you check out Child's Pose. It is something that's going to make you think. I felt infuriated at this uh, upper class but that's exactly what you were supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel sorry uh, for this lower class who had to deal with their problems on a human level but infuriated at the rich who were dealing with their problems on an artificial level. And so that differentiating quality in the golf, uh, in the classes I thought was definitely the most in interesting aspect of this movie but be careful it is very depressing and hard hitting but at least it will make you think and that's exactly what a cinematic experience should do. So overall for Child's Pose going to be this one four stars, go out there and see it. Alright guys, that's it for my review, hope you enjoyed it, thanks so much for watching movies and I'll see you later.